Okay, so this is my cable modem and router. And this cable modem and router has only one problem. That it has this cord hanging off of it that's running all the way down the hallway, across all the tiles, tripping people up and down, leading to my son's room. <laughs> Eric, um, why do you have this ethernet cable strung all the way down the hall? Because for my game, if I don't have an ethernet cable, just the Wi-Fi glitches and it freezes my computer and whatnot. It's not really good. Well, what does that do to your gaming experience then? It's not the um, ideal gaming experience. Does it make you lose? It makes me lose. Oh, it's what, the Wi-Fi's fault. Uh, what game are you playing? League of Legends. League of Legends. Yes. Okay, so this is the problem. <laughs> we have a solution, however. Okay. So to solve this problem, we have bought ourselves a Motorola Surfboard Extreme cable modem, Wi-Fi, AC router, including Mocha. Key word, Mocha, because Mocha is high-speed networking that works over the coax. That's the multimedia over a coax alliance. To go along with this new cable modem, we have got ourselves some Mocha bridges, Ethernet to Mocha bridges or surfboard smart video adapters. Now we'll show you how to install these to make your networking experience much faster, much better. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is take the cable modem out of the box. So, here's how we do that. Inside you'll find some useful instructions, a quick start guide, which we will follow the information here, and the cable modem itself. This power plug, coax connection, LAN ports, and lots of LEDs up here on the front. Okay, since I'm replacing an existing cable modem, which is this cool little Toshiba jobber here, and my existing router, this little jobber here, with my Motorola integrated gateway device, I'm going to first disconnect my cable modem like so. First pull the power, then pull the power off my old router, get rid of that, get rid of that, and pull off the ethernet connector like so, we'll pull off the coax, off the cable modem, like so, and it's out. Okay, now we're going to connect up the new cable modem to the back of the gateway, or connect up the coax to the back of the gateway. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is hook up a new gateway. So first, take the toe -up coax connection, plug it in to the back of the gateway, like so. Plug in the power cord, like so. Notice how the lights turn on. That's a good thing. I'm going to plug in an Ethernet cable here, like so. And you can see that we've got blinking lights on the front. So that's a good thing. Okay, now according to the instructions right here, it says that you can automatically configure, you can automatically provision the device, or you have to call your service provider. So let's give this a minute and see what it does. Okay, so it's been a couple of minutes, and now I can see that the lights on the front have turned solid colors. My receive and send lights are now blue, and my online light is on, and my wireless 2.4 gig light is on and flashing. That sounds like a good thing. Let's see if we can get online. I have a computer directly connected to the device here, so let's try going to Google. You're not connected. Okay, so that means 
that were probably not connected. So I need to call up my cable provider, who in this case is Cox Cable. Okay, after calling Cox, we have a provision modem. So we can see that we have a power light, we have blue send and receive lights, which means that you have a bonded DOCSIS up and down channel, and our uh, online light is on solid. All we have to do now is set up our wireless connection. So if you look on the bottom of the device, you'll see a Wi-Fi security key right here. So I'm going to enter that into my laptop and make sure the wireless works. Okay, so I've entered in my Wi-Fi password and you can see that I have a connected wireless now. So if I come over here and open up a website, I should have good internet connection. Opening google.com, boom, there it is. Okay, so we have access to the internet on the computers. The next step is to hook up the other Mocha device in the other room. Okay, so these are the other Mocha adapters that we're going to hang off in the other room to get rid of that long Ethernet cable. So when you open up the box, these are the Motorola Surfboard Smart Video Adapters with Mocha. Inside you'll find some useful operating instructions and two devices. There's one 4-port adapter device and there's one one port adapter device. I think I'm going to put the four port device in my son's room because he may have other Ethernet devices that he wants to hook up. So let's get this one. Also inside the box you'll find a splitter, a point of entry filter, which we won't need in the other room, some coax cables, we'll need one of those, and an Ethernet cable we will need one of those and a power supply and we'll need one of those okay so here we are in my son's room we've connected the coax cable and I've run it over by where the desk is so here's the coax excuse the noise of the fish tank and next we're going to hook up our Motorola 4 port adapter so the first thing we do is screw the coax in so I'll do that Okay, so we have the coax screwed in. Next thing, you have to plug it in. So, here's a power outlet that's conveniently located right here on the desk. So we'll plug in the adapter. We'll take the power plug here, plug it into the DC outlet on the back of the DC input, rather, on the back of the adapter. And you can see the lights are flashing. Okay, and then the coax link light just came on. That's this one right here. You see that came on and then the speed light went on solid green which means that you have a data rate above 180 megabits per second. So we have a very good Mocha connection running here back to our router. So this box now has connection to the internet. So the last thing we have to do is to just plug in our ethernet cable like so into the back of the device and then we'll plug this into the back of my son's computer and he will be surfing the internet at blazing speed as fast as Cox will provide and that's fun <laughs>